Hey. Good morning, Cooper. Whoosh. <laughs> Every day I'm gonna make Cooper have some awesome entrance. He's gonna storm out. Shake. He hasn't stretched yet. There it is. This should be a daily ritual whenever we let Cooper out. Wow, very long today. <laughs> what are you doing? He was walking like he had no legs. There he is, an extra stretch just for the vlog audience. Now he's wiping himself off on the couch. He's doing the most dog things ever. What are you doing, Jesus? <laughs> Buddy. Wow, he is putting on a show for you guys today. I think he's starting to catch on that you guys are watching the vlogs and that he's the star here. What in God's name? Cooper is currently out on the deck area and he's been sunbathing uh, right in that top left corner. <laughs> he's just been like catching the rays. Cooper, you're already dark enough, dude, okay? Look how pale I am. That's not fair, okay? Give me some of your skin. Even though that would be weird if I had fur and turned into a dog, but he's just very attracted to that sunspot. Cooper's basically like a cat at this point, and... Oh god, he spotted me. Oh my god. Oh my god. Alright, Cooper, uh, we're just... What? What is that? What are you... What are you looking up? Are those dogs in bikinis, Cooper? Did you just take my computer and look up dogs in bikinis? Be honest with me. Okay, you're not gonna talk? Fine, you wanna be, you wanna play hardball? No more computer privileges for you, Cooper. So my gym just opened an outdoor, like, resort pool area. It's really nice. So I just went on a swim for like 20 minutes. I'm trying to get some color, which isn't going well, but super nice out right now. My gym's like the size of a giant mansion, so it's pretty dope. And there's some dope water slides. Which maybe I'll attempt to do one day, but not right now. So Hyde Mendenhall commented on the vlog yesterday and asked how to get a girlfriend. And I feel like that's a topic that a lot of people want to know, especially a lot of guys out there that watch. Um, how to get a girlfriend, what to do, and there's no secret formula to get a girlfriend. I can't just tell you, you gotta say this, or you wear this, or you do this, and suddenly a girl is going to appear, and she's going to be with you, and you're going to fall happily ever after in love. But what I can say is, and it might sound cliche, but when you are yourself, your true self, your actual self, Someone will appreciate that. And what I mean is, yeah, you know what? You could try to impress a girl, try to be cool, maybe dress a certain way, maybe look a certain way, maybe talk a certain way, like the same thing she does to try to get her to like you. And that's fine, and that might work for a little while. That girl maybe might go, wow, he likes the same things as me. But if you genuinely don't enjoy those things, and you're just doing that to get a girl, over time, once you're with that girl, she's going to see that you were basically lying and you're gonna come across as fake. So for instance, like I like wrestling. If I see a girl, I'm going to tell her, hey, guess what, I like wrestling, it's super lame. I'm so nerdy with that, but you know what? It's okay because it's what I like. And if she's not going to accept the fact that I like wrestling, then, then screw her. Then I don't need to be with that girl. And there is a girl out there that will say, oh my God, that's so awesome, I love this too, or I think that's awesome that you like that and you're okay to admit it. So. Put yourself out there a little bit. I'm not telling you you gotta go crazy, but if you see a girl and she might like something that you like, just approach her and just say, hey, I really like your shirt. Or if you see someone at a concert, you're at the same event with the same, you're, you're there because you like the same band. If you're at a sporting event, you're there because you like the same team, the same sport. So everybody is down to have that conversation. So don't be afraid to just say hello, but when you do, make sure that you're yourself. Make sure that you're not being someone you're not trying to be fake and trying to impress somebody because like I said after a while they're going to know that you were just lying and that's going to be a big turnoff to them instead if you're just up front the entire time don't try to don't play games don't put on this giant facade of something you're not there's something really attractive about somebody that doesn't really care 
Some people might say, oh my God, what I like is lame and it's super corny and no one's ever gonna like that. But with that attitude, no girl is gonna like that. They're gonna be like, hey, maybe he's right. But if your attitude is, you know what? I like this certain thing, or I'm weird because of this, or I'm nerdy because of this, and you can either accept that and appreciate that, or don't, 90 some, 90 some percent of the time, they're gonna go, okay, that's cool. I appreciate that. So I think that's a good piece of advice on how to get a girlfriend and how to get the person to stay with you, not just get a girlfriend and then them just leave you in a couple weeks or a couple months. This might sound a little ridiculous, but like I hate lines so much and I hate waiting in line. And I always said like, if there were two lines in a store, one that was the normal line, you know, you pay your normal price and it is what it is. And then there's like a speedy other line where it's like, all right, you pay a dollar fee you get to check out right away. So if I'm getting a smoothie and there's 25 people in line ahead of me, I'm gonna pay that extra dollar to freaking get ahead and they can't complain because they didn't pay and then I get my stuff faster and I'm okay with that. I wish that that was a thing because like there are certain places where I just want a smoothie and I wanna go and I don't wanna wait 25 minutes because it's not worth it and I would totally pay a small fee to get in a separate line, almost like you can go to a Six Flags or a theme park, amusement park, and you can pay to get the flash pass where you're like in a, a, you know, the line that goes by everybody. You pay to get in front of everybody. I wish that it was like that in all stores, restaurants, convenience stores, anything like that. That would be like the greatest thing ever to me. All right, on our daily walk, a little hyper today, but you still right next to me and still stopping when I stop, which is good, so. Whenever Cooper sees like a giant dog, he talks mad shit and barks at them. But then when the dog approaches him, he's like, okay, okay, Ryan, help, screw this, so. A big dog just walked by him. He started scree screaming at him. And then the dog like looked at him like, really, dude? And then Cooper looked at me like, please save me. It's like when a friend gets in a fight and it's like, dude, you gotta help me out. That's what he does. Nice day today though, it's like no humidity, which to me is important. Like it can be a hundred degrees. If it's not humid, it's not that bad. If it's 70 degrees and humid, it's the worst. So right now it's like really comfortable and nice. And uh, I don't mind going for a nice long walk. Already got my swim in, you know, I got a lift tonight, but oh wow, look at that. There's a weave. There must have been a fight here and somebody lost. That is unbelievable. And he was never seen again. Bye. TMZ, TMZ. Uh, is it true what you did with Kim Kardashian, TMZ? We just want a word. TMZ here. Please, Cooper, please. I'd like you guys to name my MacBook. So if you guys could do me a favor, comment down below, what should I name it? Is it a girl, is it a guy? I don't know, let's decide. Cooper's gonna come as well, here he comes. Oh my, great, so Cooper also wants you to name it. Wow, backing that ass up. You backing that ass up. <laughs> what are you doing, dude? Oh, look at the way I'm sitting right now. I'm sitting like a soccer coach, like a soccer dad. Um, so I want to do a thing like once every week or two where I just shout out YouTube channels that I think should be getting some more viewers. Um, a lot of you guys have actually told me to do that. Like, hey, we want more people to watch. We want some channels that you recommend. Who do you watch? So this week, today, I just wanted to give a shout out to my friend Josh Sobo. Um, he makes really, really good vlogs, like really good stuff that you guys will enjoy. So if you're still here and you're still watching this part of the video, click the link in the description, go to his channel, and just comment on his video saying, Ryan sent me. Or you can say, Gail sent me if you want, and let's just confuse the hell out of him, but... Okay, that's rude phone. But yeah, go subscribe to him. His link will be in the description. And I want to start giving you guys recommendations to YouTube channels that you can watch as well. Not just friends of mine, but people that I think make good content. But Josh is one of those people, so make sure to do that for me. And uh, yeah, just, you know. Why the fuck not? What do you know about this song, huh? I find myself listening to this song 
First Date by Blink-182, like once a week, forever. Love me some Blink. I'm gonna Blink-182 times in honor. Okay, my eyes are hurting. Okay, I'll Blink-11 times, that's fine. All right, so as I spin in my chair, I'm going to end the vlog for the night. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up if you made it to the end. And you already know the things to comment if you want to chat and have questions and things. So that is it for me. I will see you guys next time. You know me.